This is Full Metal, and I'm back again with another ammo test. And this time I'll be testing the Federal Premium 40 Smith & Wesson 135 grain Hydroshock rounds. Now, for the testing, I'll be firing the round out of a Beretta 96 at a distance of 5 yards, and I'll be attempting to catch the bullet in a stack of old manuals. After the test, I'll be comparing the fired 40 Smith & Wesson round to the previously tested 9mm Hydroshock round. Now the 9mm tested very well, so I'm expecting good results from the 40 Smith & Wesson. So, let's see what happens. Okay, so here's what happened. Bullet entry looks like this, and the exit looks something like that. This round was absolutely devastating and it shot through a pretty thick manual. I actually had to continue the test, continually stacking more and more manuals behind this one until I could get it to stop. So just for fun, try to guess how many pages it went through before it stopped and uh, I'll have the answer down in the description. The round that I was able to capture looks something like this. Here's a before and after of the round that was tested. Here's a comparison between the 40 Smith & Wesson Hydroshock and the 9mm Hydroshock. On the left is the, is the 40 Smith & Wesson and on the right is the 9mm. Both of these rounds expanded to about the same size, although the 40 Smith & Wesson expanded a little bit larger than the 9mm. Both the 40 Smith & Wesson Hydroshock and the 9mm Hydroshock tested very well in comparison to other self-defense ammunition on the market. As far as I'm concerned, I trust my life with Hydroshock. I hope you enjoyed this video. As always, be safe and thanks for watching.